What's going on all my pre-healthcare brothers and sisters? I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to continue on with our ATIT's question review series and we're going to be discussing measurements and conversions. Question 1. A powdered chemical must be measured to the nearest one-fourth of a pound. Which of the following is the most appropriate measurement tool for this task? Is it A. Graduated cylinder B. Beaker C. Yardstick or D, scale? And the correct answer is D, scale. A scale is an appropriate measuring tool for measuring weight. Graduated cylinders and beakers will help measure volume while yardsticks will help measure length. Which of the following is an approximate metric quantity for the volume of a glass of water? Is it A, 10 milliliters, B, 0.1 centiliters, C, 0.5 liters, or D, one kiloliter? And the correct answer is C, 0.5 liters. A glass of water is best approximated by a measurement of about a half a liter or 0.5 liters. The measurement of 10 milliliters and 0.1 centiliters are equal and are both too small. The measurement of one kiloliter is also too large, which will not give us our correct answer. Which of the following metric units of measurement is most reasonable to measure the weight of a full tube of cream medication? Is it A, milligram, B, gram, C, hectogram, or D, kilogram? And the correct answer is B, gram. A full tube of cream medication would most likely be measured in grams. The unit of milligrams would be too small and hectogram and kilograms would be too large. A builder must measure a steel rod exactly 5 inches long for a building project. Which of the following measurement tools is appropriate for this task? Is it A. Ruler B. Pipette C. Yardstick or D. Odometer And the correct answer is A. Ruler A ruler would be most suited for measuring a length in inches. A yardstick would be too large, so C would be incorrect. A technician must measure exactly six ounces of a liquid to add to a medical preparation. It is important for the measurement to be as precise as possible. Which of the following measure measurement tools is most appropriate for this task? Is it A, scale, B, beaker, C, caliper, or D, graduated cylinder? And the correct answer is D, graduated cylinder. A volume of a liquid is best measured by a graduated cylinder or beaker among the choices listed above. Graduated cylinders generally provide more precise measurements than beakers, so a graduated cylinder would be the most appropriate tool for this task. Which of the following is the number of pints in three gallons? Is it A, eight, B, 12, C, 16, or D, 24? And the correct answer is D, 24. A gallon consists of four quarts, and there are two pints in each quart. Since four times two is equal to eight, there are eight pints in each gallon. We multiply three gallons by eight pints. Three times eight is equal to 24. Therefore, there are 24 pints in three gallons. A piece of wood measures 25.4 centimeters in length. Which of the following is the wood's approximate length in English measurement? Please note, one inch is approximately equal to 2.52 centimeters. Is it A, 10 inches, B, 35.4 inches, C, 64.52 inches, or D, 100 inches? And the correct answer is A, 10 inches. Set up a proportion to determine the missing measurement. Cross multiply to solve. So one inch divided by 2.54 centimeters is equal to X inches divided by 25.4 centimeters. So you have 2.54 X is equal to one times 25.4. So we can further condense that. One times 25.4 is obviously 25.4. So we have 2.54 point five four x is equal to twenty five point four so then we can further simplify this x is equal to twenty five point four divided by two point five four which will give us our final measurement 
of 10. So the wood measures approximately 10 inches. Which of the following is the number of centimeters in 1.46 meters? Is it A, 1.46, B, 14.6, C, 146, or D, 1,460? And the correct answer is C, 146. We convert the number of meters to centimeters. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Then we multiply 1.46 times 100 is equal to 146. Which of the following is the number of centimeters in 20 decimeters? Is it A, 2, B, 20, C, 200, or D, 2,000? And the correct answer is C, 200. Convert decimeters to centimeters. One decimeter is equal to 10 centimeters. We multiply that, 20 times 10 is equal to 200. Therefore, 200 centimeters are in 20 decimeters. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.